six years ago. It was a very, very simple idea that we wanted to base a game um, around a character and a character that you can actually see on screen. We thought that the game was the strong point of it, but we began to hear all these people talking about Lara and, and saying, you know, where's the birthday? And people were actually talking about this character as a, as a real character that actually thought she existed. She's a great character. And she's a great role model, and she's got an energy and a, and a charisma for life. We really wanted people to identify with the character. Um, and we had a real sort of dilemma, because we knew that this character was going to have weapons. And, you know, you get into your mind a sort of a muscle-bound, sort of, you know, clumbering. And it wasn't what we wanted. We wanted something that was very, a character that was very agile and people could relate to. And it became a woman. She has uh, all the things we love about James Bond. She's got all the cool stuff, and she's she's got all that sexy intelligence. But she's uh, but she's also Indiana Jones, and she's got uh, she's a real straightforward person. The timing for us was such a cultural change in society from from men and women, the way that they all think, the way that they even watch movies, listen to music, play video games. A huge swing, which Lara kind of just got swept along on that phenomenon and actually was picked up and used as an icon for it. The fact that she's a girl and enjoys it and is curvy, I think that's wonderful, that, that it's all of that and the fact that she's also really good at all these things and not good because she's as good as a guy, good because even if she was competing with a guy, she, she might win, but just because she's a better fighter, not because she's a girl. The one thing about Tomb Raider, it's uh, it's big all around. Lara Croft is big everywhere, and I think that's what's so appealing uh, as a project, a challenge, that you've got to satisfy a lot of people in a lot of places. I was just a m as much a snob about film made about video games as anybody. I I'd never seen one that. It worked. But as they asked me for the probably the third and final time, I sat down and thought about it seriously, and I thought, you know what, this actually is a really cool character. This is a female action hero. And we haven't seen one of those for a while. I'm going to track the camera I do this, yeah. this, and then stay there while you can. Simon um, he had a very, very ambitious and specific point of view with regard to the intensity of the action and the scale of the movie. That was very impressive. You needed someone who didn't blanch and quake in having to face a big action sequence, uh, as well as some very uh, emotional dialogue sequences. You said you were a lawyer? Yes. And the study of clocks is a hobby? This is an obsession. It's very complicated, and Simon gets it on all levels. The world that she operates in is sort of the best of everything. You can have action, adventure, but because she goes into these weird underground tombs, you can have surreal sequences as well. So there was no limit to, to what I could invent. And so that's when I said, you know, I want to do Tomb Raider. Here we go. Roll video. Mr. Powell! Hold your fire! Well, we can do it my way, or we can all come back in time for the next alignment, and you are welcome to try and kill me then. Lady Croft, tell me. Is there a good thing? I really only ever had one choice for Lara. I, I couldn't think of anyone else apart from Angelina Jolie. She peeks around, comes back, this goes off, bang, 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 bang. She had everything. I mean, to me, she was invented for the part. Sometimes I can read a script, and a lot of times, it doesn't turn out to be half as good as we hoped it would be. And this one is 10 times better than I imagined. Like that, and so the background. Yeah. And, uh, and then I met Simon and everybody and, and uh, talked about what it was going to be like and how intense it was going to be and a really strong movie and not cartoony, not stupid, and not camp. We wanted to offer up a, a new experience, new elements, new locations, a new storyline, as well as with the character Laura to um, really flesh her out in a real way, almost answer all those questions that the game never had to deal with. The way to make this work is to take it seriously. I wanted to make a character that people thought was real. She sweats, she bleeds, and she gets emotional. She does, she's not 
a cartoon character who has the perfect end to every scene. Do you know what day it is, Hilary? The 15th. And that is never a good day. The way he talked about it and the way I could talk to him about acting and work and characters and just the things that he imagined. I knew he was going to make a great film. He has an enormously large vision of this movie. There's a size to everything, which is very, very impressive. But at the center of this global adventure, the core of the story is about a daughter's relationship with her father. I had to look for someone that would measure up to Angelina. So I thought, well, why not her real father? John Voight. Again, I wasn't sure whether they actually wanted to work together, so I kind of approached them separately, and they loved the, the idea. And that just works so well, because they're having these emotional scenes between a father and a daughter, and they really are a father and a daughter, so they're, they're completely real. I've missed you. And I've missed you. It's a very special thing because our relationship is very, very similar to these two people. They have similar loves. They have similar sense of adventure and want to set things right, curious about life, curious about the past. I took it without having read the script. I said, I'll do this. We're gonna do this together. And then I read it, and I was delighted and surprised at the story. I said, this is a great story. She's full of fun and fire and is certainly enjoying everything about this adventure. It goes into mysticism, foreign locations, intrigue, drama. There's no end to it. Time to save the universe? Absolutely. This film has a high-tech scientific element. It has arch villains and comedy relief sidekicks. Mm. Don't stop. It's an action film and an adventure. Each sequence is like, whoa. It's kind of got everything in it. There's mystery there, there's betrayal there. They sweep us into these extraordinary sets and take us to these exotic locations. It's James Bond, Indiana Jones, rolled into a young, attractive, modern girl. 